Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sir Forever One, and today I want to show you guys how you're able to pretty much get unlimited storage space in Borderlands 3. Now, if you've been playing Borderlands 3 and you've gotten to 50 and started farming up all those legendaries and unique weapons and items, you'll realize that there are hundreds of unique weapons not counting their different elemental variations and your bank only goes up to 50 slots and that's shared across all your characters and then if you have max SDU you have 40 slots on your main let's say but there is a very easy way that you can pretty much exploit to get unlimited storage slots and basically what we're doing is just copying a character you want to copy and making a new version of that so i'm going to show you guys how to do that so basically on pc this is done on pc i'm not sure if you can do it on consoles you're going to go in to your documents you're going to go to my games you're going to go to borderlands 3 saved save games and then that folder and then you're going to have all these which are all your characters now this is like the same way we did it before but basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to the character you want to copy over and this is my main character number one so basically what you do you just copy that and then you paste it on your desktop and then you rename it so you have to name your characters a number like this basically so just go to the next number as you can see i've already been doing this with multiple characters so i'm gonna go eight that's 87 um i tried to like name it certain stuff so you could be more organized in the file but you can't do that it doesn't actually show up so it has to be numbered like this I'm not exactly certain how many slots are i'm betting there's probably unlimited slots or maybe at some point you start lagging but as you can see we put an eight right there so now we're going to log in to borderlands 3. okay so now when i go into my character list as you can see, this is my actual main character. It's pretty much always at the top. This is the one I play. And as you can see, I've already been doing this with all them named correctly. But this is the new copy. And it will be a copy, basically, of when I copied it. Now you just enter the game. Also, um, it's good to know that I have this game on Epic Game Store. And usually after I do this and exit Borderlands 3 and then re-log on to Borderlands 3, the Epic Game Store will ask me, they'll say there's like a file issue and do I want to go from the last cloud save or upload my files? Do upload your files because that'll just take your files. So that really won't be an issue. Now, as you can see, I have all of my items and everything. This is an exact copy of my character. I have all my items and my currencies. Now, I'm not doing this to get any uh, any extra items, any extra currencies, anything like that. So basically what I'm going to do, and this doesn't this doesn't like multiply or copy any account wide um, currencies. So no extra golden keys. The Iridium is character. But basically what I do is I just sell off everything in my inventory because this is all stuff that I'm currently already carrying on my main that I will either put in storage or use on my main. Um, my actual character I'm playing and I'm never going to use any currencies off these characters that I name and have them for just carrying stuff have them as mules so basically what I do next is I just go over to this station and at the bottom left you'll see a rename character and you can just click on it and rename it to something like this and basically, I just rename my characters as Mule something so I know exactly what this character is carrying and it can just be a Mule. And this character already has all the SDUs. I got them actually legitimately because I played too much. So I have 40 backs, back pass, backpack space if I can talk. And that's 10 less than your shared character stash. So basically, then I just go in here. And I take whatever this mule is going to carry. So this mule is going to carry rocket launchers. So I would just go through and take all of the rocket launchers. And at some point I'm going to have probably a mule for most of these different items. So as you can see here, I don't have a ton of rocket launchers. But this character will only have rocket launchers on him. So it's basically much easier just to organize. I actually have almost no rocket launchers in my stash right now. But then you can see... You can just, I usually unequip them all. And basically what you can do if you want to, if you need to keep stuff equipped, you can because that's a bunch of extra slots. But basically 
you just do this and i'm never going to use these characters for anything but getting on them checking the items putting them in the stash if i want to use them and picking them up on my main basically this is just adding more um holding slots because they have so many ridiculous amount of unique items and items in the game that having 50 bank space is kind of ridiculous i don't know why a lot of looter shooter games like to force people to do stuff like this or have mules because you could do this legitimately but it take a lot of time and you have to bring someone to sanctuary you could you know send them a ton of higher level items to buy all the rest to use and you could do legitimately but it's just extra bank slots i'm not you know getting any extra items i don't really want to ruin the progression for me but this in my opinion completely adds to the progression because i can carry and store as many items as i want to i don't have to worry about throwing this item away that i might want to use later or make a video on later or test something out later with some other build i can just put them on one of my mules and then you know save all the items i want to have all the unique items i want and do all that kind of stuff you know give item my items to my friends if they can't get them or want those items everything like that so in my opinion it's super worth to do this that's pretty much the end of the video subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands 3 content leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you think about Borderlands 3 as a whole if you're going to be doing this um you know if you already ran out of bank slots to save your items and thanks for watching